but that's good. Right, welcome to the um, Judgment Show. Yes. Uh, actually, forget the episode. It's We haven't done this for a while. We've been doing a lot of games it's lately. the first one post Adepticon. Yeah, we've been doing things like, I'm doing a podcast with George, but it's not it's not quite yeah. the same because it's not really a show. So we used to do these every week and a, and a game, so we might start trying to get back to doing that. Yeah. Uh, I might try to stream a game. I've got to find a partner on Monday, which will be Sunday night in the States, but I'll announce that later. But today we haven't got time for it, so today we're just going to do the show. I could possibly do Monday. Cool. All right, I could play Jeff Monday, that'd be cool. Uh, right, so Jeff, how you been? Pretty good. Uh, yeah. Been watching the... The meta grow in USA. It's been so yeah. exciting. I'm getting bombarded by messi- uh, friend requests and yeah, yeah. Twitter followers. And, it's uh, been amazing. Yeah, it's great. It's going off in America and all, all you guys out there that are spreading the word, it's really good. Yeah. It's exciting. Uh, we're watching it back in Australia. And yeah, so we're going to talk about Depticon today a lot. Uh, yeah. I just got back from Adepticon. It was my fourth time I've actually been, but twice as Judgment. Yeah. This was amazing uh, compared to every other time I've gone. It was the best, I think. Uh, great to meet so many people that I've just been talking on online and to feel a lot of uh, love for the game, which has been amazing. So I'll talk about that. And a cracking tournament. Uh, yeah, a tournament as well. So I'll talk about that, the tournament. Talk about uh, the release schedule because people are getting really keen what's coming out. So I'm going to give an update on how that's going. I actually had Jaeger uh, prototype. I could have sold a million of them if I had him, but I yeah. didn't. So he'll be going up for pre sale soon. So we've got that. Uh, I want to also talk about the map. The new map. Yeah. Uh, we'll talk about that. And also what we're doing for the rest of the year in terms of sh- shows, what cons we're going to. Yeah, pretty busy. That kind of thing, yeah. Tournaments and whatnot. Yep. Uh, <laughs> and then at the end, we're going to do a cool thing. We're going to go through all the characters that use RNG, so all the ranged characters in the yeah. game. So not, not the magic ones, just ranged. There's actually seven. Yeah. And we're going to talk about them in depth around magical items, tactics. Even general general yep. strategies with the heroes, yep. and then particular, getting more particular per, for each hero as well. Because uh, <coughs> once again, even though for Jeff and I, the game's been out for about four years, it's fairly new for a lot of people. Yeah. So we're going to go through a series going through all the different heroes. So we're going to go through all the Madge ones, all yeah. the melee ones. That's right. That. Instead of doing it by class, we're going to do it by their attack type because yeah. it's we might do fun. the soul gazers in one yeah. game yeah but the soul gazers spill over for example, a lot of them have magic Zarin is a range yeah uh, magic magic oh, actually you know what's missing Svetlana she's got a range attack as well RNG what yeah. about her do you want to grab her yep or maybe not yeah why not because <laughs> I think it could be locked <laughs> yeah don't worry about it she just does the monster control yeah, anyway yeah we'll worry about her later <laughs> okay. alright she uh, doesn't so much gameplay a lot of chatter going on quickly <laughs> Hey cuties from Byron. Hey Byron. So I was with Byron in Adepticon. I think he's still in the States. The Byron's in Holland. I don't know. He's, he's in he's, Hawaii, so I think. He's a... Uh, Theo. Yeah, he's in Hawaii. He's catching up in Hawaii with his wife, yeah. Good day, Byron. Wukong, big, big 6Z. Missed you, Jeff. Yep, missed you, Jeff. Hand from the US of A. You, Alice. G'day, g'day. Relian. I bought all the things. Relian bought a lot. Relian came back a couple of times. I like that name. Yeah, it's an awesome name. Kyriakos from the UK. How are you going? And Wukong wants tips for Zaffin. All right, awesome. I'd like to see a picture of Kyriakos. I've got a vision in my mind. Of Kyriakos? He's from the UK, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's a Greek guy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a vision of this. <laughs> His name is Kyriakos yeah. Constantine. So. <laughs> yeah. I've sent a few things to Kyriakos over the time. Oh, yeah, he has, yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. So, Adepticon. So, it was a blast. Uh, Adepticon is every year. It's in Chicago, yeah. Illinois. Um, and I first time I went to Adepticon was about t- 10 years ago. I went twice when I was doing RHQ. That's um, right, yeah. Which is excellent. I've never been. Yeah, and I've been the last two years. So we're going again against ne- yeah, next year. So I'm pretty sure Jeff will come with me next year. So yeah. we, um, we once again, we share a booth with the Muse or Mini, got Minis guys, which is Nigel uh, and, and the boys. So that was really good. And Chris. And we had a bumper year this year. So we sold a stack of stuff, a lot of interest. The difference, last year's Adepticon, we sold a lot of stuff, but I reckon it was about 80 to 85% painters. Yeah. And 15% gamers. Now it's catching but on. But this year, it was yeah. almost the other way. It was, I reckon, at least 70% gamers. That's good, because the models, the painters, they track the attention yeah. first, and then people go, oh, the game actually yeah. works too. So. I remember last year, I was a bit hurt, because obviously we design the game, the rules, and we do design the models, but we don't make the models, right? There's other sculptors and illustrators. So everyone's raving about the models, and I was there going, the game's pretty good too, you know? <laughs> but this year, the difference was at night, there was just games going all the time. So yeah. there was pickup games... Yeah. constantly and I was up till midnight every night just playing games demoing yeah. showing people it yeah. was a blast and we have shout out to Devonian Devonian um, is one he's got a store in the US and he stocks us and he demoed pretty much yeah. the whole time he was so so good for us 
a lot of the guys were. The Stevens brothers were there. Um, yeah. Chad, all of them. You know, Wu Kong was doing it, so yeah. it was great. And it's great to see uh, the tournament, the different meta as well of, of, of the yeah. World, to see what they're using because it's different meta growing. It's there, actually so. quite mature. So I remember thinking, I wonder. It's going to be interesting to see the level. And I knew people were playing fairly regularly, but it was really mature. Um, the winner was Tony. Tony's won. It was funny, I was talking to him. So he's won a few events at Grognards. Grognards probably yeah. do an event every month or two or six yeah. weeks. And he's won a few of them. And he was saying to me, uh, he wants to build a formidable reputation. With, <laughs> so when the game gets huge, he's like the, the original superstar. Yeah. So he's going really well. He played against um, Chad in the final, two local Chicago guys. Because oh, Chad beat Byron. Byron's yeah, own. he did, yeah. Um, so, and they were, yeah, it was a good game, like a good level. They both know the game really well. Um, and I played the Stevens guys at night, the brothers. That was really cool. It was, yeah. it was really good. So, And apparently you would have been four more people at the event. Um, yeah, we had a car breakdown with three people in it. We would have got 20. So we got 16 in the end, good for the... which was really happy with that. Like, there was a game, much more established games that were getting 16 players. Uh, yeah. So for yeah. us, it was great. Well, it's happening here as well. We're starting to go past some other more established yeah. games as yeah, well, we which are. is good to see. Your yeah. numbers are um, going steadily. Oh, here we go. Uh, this is an interesting one. So Kyriakos is a bald Greek guy. Uh, uh, <laughs> now this is really an, Andrew interviewed me on RHQ at Adepticon for Warhammer Fantasy Battle about eight years ago. Wow, that's what, amazing. Warhammer Fantasy. When I, I was because I went there one year. We interviewed. We were just interviewing people who were playing tournaments. The elf player with name really and surely. Oh, yeah, really, that's amazing. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Cool. So anyway, it was good. So they've got 22 play, two viewers, that's going really well. Yeah. So we, um, anyway, so that was great. Uh, it's awesome con. It, yeah. It's, oh, oh, Jeff hasn't been to a US con, have you? You've, you've been to the big war machine events in the overseas. Yeah, yeah. But at a con, it's in an international hotel, fully booked yeah. out, rooms everywhere. It's well, so much we, fun. I'm going to Gen Con, I'm going to Warfare. Yeah, we got, yes, so. we're going to talk about that. Actually, we'll do that, we'll do, <coughs> we'll do that in a minute. So we, anyway, so there again next year. We're going to do two events next year. It's a big, we're going to do a three versus three day and yeah, a five versus yeah, five tournament. Yeah, doing that. And there'll be, the way we do that when we do it in Australia, you will have winners for each day, but then overall winners for the yeah. two days if you go on both. The three versus three will be aimed towards beginners again. We will allow, possibly if we can, allow non-painted on the, the first day, but definitely fully painted That's for the 5v5. Year. We could even contemplate making the final um, a full draft. Oh, yeah, we could do that, yeah. Because we'll yeah. have all our own paint and models there. We, yeah. we, we could talk, we could talk could about that because that's a good way to finish an event too. So it's going to be unreal. I know we've just passed this one. We've got lots to go this year, but that's, that's well, what we're doing. So, yeah. Tournaments. That was Gen Con, so yeah. we're, um, yeah, so rest of the year, in terms of the States, we'll talk about the States in Australia and Australia everywhere the UK. in Europe too, yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> we are locked into Gen Con. We've got a stall there, a dedicated stall just for judgment. Yeah. We're not going to run a tournament at, at a de Gen Con, but we are going to get a dedicated open play area. Yeah. So Jeff and I, it says Jeff, myself, and Jay Larson from Discount Games and from Muse, the three of us are going to be doing the stall together. Yeah. Um, so we'll be also be playing games in the open play area, doing yeah. demos, that kind of thing. If we get enough people, we might do like a mini round robin thing. Yeah. Uh, you know, we can do it at midnight. Like to midnight as well. Like yeah, 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 yeah. So we can, and the good thing is, the same as Adepticon, the stalls close around six. So you, then you can play games. Yeah. You can run an evening tournament. Yeah, so I've, I've, I've inquired yeah. about getting a dedicated play area. So yeah. it looks like we're going to get one of those. So that'd be really good. Genkin, that's August, I think. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah. yeah. Evelania, thanks. Welcome back. We appreciate it. It's good to be back. Uh, yeah. Oh, Sean. So big six Z is Sean. I didn't realise. Okay, cool. Sean. Yeah. Uh, Sean Stevens, one of the one of the brothers. Okay. Okay. So now the other one. Um, oh, those guys got good beards on them. Yeah, there's a lot of good. There's a lot of good beards actually. There was a, there's a photo I put on Facebook, and someone mentioned because everyone had beards. I didn't yeah, realise. Right. <laughs> we had a clean. Shave, I can't grow. Yeah. Clean shaved yeah, environment. Yeah, really yeah, yeah. Representing Australia. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so next one, Jen Con. We talked about that. Now should we talk about Debdecon on the winners? Yeah, I'll do, I'll do that, yeah, that's sex. Okay. So Warfare Weekend. Is the other one, Jeff? That's just me. Now it looks like I'm not going to that, and Jeff is. Now that is the pre previous known as War Machine Weekend. Yeah. And that opened up to other games. I think the Girl Ball is going to be there, announce of the day. Yeah. And now Judgment's going to be there. So there'll be an event there that Jeff's going to run. We'll, we'll announce the details soon. So it won't be a stall, there'll just be a tournament there. So Muse, Muse, it, Muse or Minis are going to have a stall there. Okay, yes, of course. So you can yeah. buy a Judgment there. But I'll be um, running the tournament. But Jeff will be joining the tournament, and when he's not running the tournament, he'll be hanging around the stall and just doing whatever. But by that stage, the end of the year, towards the end of the year, we're going to have quite a big uh, 
I mean, meta. We might have a five. So. Yeah, well, the five thing will be out. So in the States at the moment, most people are playing three versus three. Yeah. But the, the, everyone's asking about the new map, which is in front yeah. of us here. I'm not sure if you can see it if I switch cameras. Yeah, that's just the, is the prototype. So we're going to be having getting our first neoprene prototype of this soon. Then we'll put it up for pre-sale. Then it will go out. Um, it we're changes gonna, the game. We're going to do... It's, it's really good. Yeah, we're either going to do free shipping or we'll do it cheaper to try to get people for the, for the pre-sales because yeah. we really want to get people this mat out. This will trigger 5v5s in the States, I think. Um, yeah. Some of them are playing already, the guys we, in New York. Realize, at first we didn't think this, but people want the place terrain. Yeah, it yeah. It does make it Pretty so much, much easier to play. This map is so much fun too. I, I can't... Yeah. Anyone who's played it, the play testers, it, you rave. You want to play this more than anything. Yeah, the teleportation yeah. rings on it. Yeah. Uh, the new monster, the, the new demon monster. Right. Yeah, yeah. The team, have yeah. you released him? So not yet, no. I'm going to be doing that. <laughs> um, so Nessie knows he's going to be at Gen Con. That's good. Uh, yeah, and Mr. Chewie is looking forward to converting Jaeger and all the way to heroes. Push the orcs and mine. what's cool. Uh, so, yeah, so War Machine, so Warfare, Warfare Weekend. We'll talk about that when it comes up. So that's what we're doing now. That's October. Right? Besides that, yeah. there are now, there's MuseCon. Muse on Con, which is, there's going to be an event there. Chad's going to run it. It's a one day three versus three. Yeah. And Muse on Minis will obviously be selling judgment there as well. So even though Jeff and I won't be there, there's still going to be a judgment tournament there. Yeah. So if you just look on our Facebook and Discord, I'm just going to put up some things. So this is our Discord channel if you want to do that. Uh, and this is our, if you want to learn more, you can go there. But if you go on our judgmental Facebook group, that group is where we post a lot of stuff as well as Discord. Yeah, it's growing the last few weeks. Yeah, it is. And there's also a lot of, a lot of uh, there's a Milwaukee group now, Chicago group, there's a Facebook groups. Indiana. And there's one more, I Indiana. Indiana. I think Indiana. I think that's the three. Indiana. Yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's the three. So if you want to, yeah, I've been posting these everywhere. So you can have a look on those groups, Judgmental or Discord, and you can get to your local group. I can't wait for one day. I want to do a US tour. Oh yeah, it'd be bad. Indiana. I want to do a big tournament as well. Nice places. Yeah, oh, Michigan. Sorry, it's Michigan, not Michigan, Indiana. Sorry, it's a Michigan group. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, so anyway, it's starting to explode. It's pretty exciting, hey. We've got to get going in the UK. Yes. That's chugging along, but it's, we're gonna. Yeah, we, we need to start. So this year oh. we're missing salute. I think salutes this weekend. Uh, UK Game Expo. I don't know whether we're going to have anything there as well, but we are trying to get that sorted. When I was, we've got, we've got, we're negotiating with distributors in the EU, and that's the big thing for us because yeah. they'll be going to those places. So we're still doing that. But yeah. a bit of uncertainty at the moment. Yeah, so we'll work out what we can uh, with the EU, but the US is going pretty much uh, great guns at the moment. Um, right, Jeff, the winners. So for Adepticon, Tony. Before this happens, I want to talk because the Byron, the fellow we sent. Yeah. He was so the one Aussie player, Byron yeah. was on a. Vegas Bucks weekend and then arranged it so he can come to the Depticon and he hung out. He had his wife with him too. But she didn't go to the, sh the con. Or the, or the buck. No, she missed those too. Yeah, <laughs> anyway, that. Byron likes his drink and he's a real casual player, but he was, he wanted to represent this tournament yeah. so he didn't yeah. want to go and just, uh, yeah. you know, and he, and he went quite well. He'd been training for a while, he'd been practicing his warband and discussing it and the first game he got was, was Chad. And he wrote to me straight away, you said these guys, you said these guys, I just knew I got smashed first game. <laughs> yeah, so it's interesting. He, uh, yeah, he was, he was up at him himself, but then he, he lost the first round. I said it'll go well, because I've he, seen him, he's playing well. Yeah, right? he played Chad, who ended up making the final. But um, Brian, not he stuck to it, but then he, he did, he won the next three games, and he played some decent players. Like, it was, it was a pretty solid field. Yeah. There was one new player, he didn't know, he was just brand new. And there was two players who had an idea, but the 13, there was like 12 really solid players yeah. that were playing at the event. It was well, really good. He did in the end. Yeah, did, he did. Uh, yeah. Now, one of the things that we're trying to promote, beautiful models in the game, we promote painting. So we don't have soft scores, but we had the first tiebreaker was number of painted models. Yeah. Now, that's what got Byron over the line. Chad actually had one more soul <laughs> than him. It's ironic because Chad's wife is Griffin Roos Painting. He's one of the best painters going around. And he had one unpainted model. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so I, he blamed her because she spent so much time on her crystal brush. Yeah, I know. One. It's not important, is it, Chad? It that, should have that, been that about Chad your tournament. Yeah, that's right, Chad. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, uh, it, it was fine. So uh, Byron ended up coming third, uh, second, and Chad ended up coming third. Um, so We're doing that in Australia, and it's making people paint. And a shout-out to Jordan Case. Jordan Case was a big backer of ours in the Kickstarter. Had everything. Okay. Really nice guy. Yeah, and he played Tony in the semi to go to the final, and it was a really close game. Okay. Uh, so Jordan, I think he ended up coming fourth. He had no painted models, I think. 
but uh, it was uh, it was really good. So it was nice just to meet some of people like that. Like, so Jordan, I was talking to him all through the day. He knew his name was Jordan, but then he kept talking to me. He's talking about all the models he's got. And I said, oh, are you Jordan K- yeah, Case? Yeah. And he goes, yeah. I said, oh, I've been chatting to him so much online. So he didn't realise, yeah. Yeah, it was really good. So I know uh, all the names in my head too, but yeah. just linking them up with the people. Yeah, getting, and then, uh, yeah, so Wukong was there as well. Uh, there was, yeah, it was really good. So yeah. huge. Next year's going to be bigger. Um, so I've got a couple of questions, Jeff, just before we go. Uh, so there's a guy in Oregon only playing 5v5. Oh. Yeah. They're going to try to run a 5v5 tournament. Oh, good. They're all former War Machine and Guild War players. So after a few games, they're ready to go. So just do in, yep. Yeah. <laughs> and they said it's been amazing, so that's great. Uh, fives is a different game. Yeah, you find you find that you get more supporters, use more supporters than hybrid. Oh, than it wasn't Ch- Chatty played. It was David. It, it, it was Wukong he played. It was oh, David Boron. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, he beat him. Okay, that's right. He was the sole defender of NA. He beat him twice. They played a practice game. He beat him as well. Boron. Yeah, Boron lost a lot of practice games, right? <laughs> He blames my snoring for his brutal first game. Uh, so it wasn't Chad. Okay. So we can't, uh, you can't buy Jaeger yet. Uh, he's going to be up on pre-sales, I reckon, in about a month. He's getting made right now. Uh, yeah, he's being manufactured. Oh. So he's going to be in about a month. So um, we'll be doing that. If you weren't there, this is what he looks like. This is him. And put another model there. Let's put... put yes, yeah, so I've, just, I've just made him... Uh, Scale. Yeah, this is the, what he's like next to the Minotaur. Yeah. So he's, uh, yeah, he's a beast. So the goblin himself, they're about the size of dwarfs in our meta, in our, sorry, in our world, our universe. But they've head. got big heads and big ears. So that's the only big difference. But he's same height or, you know, as a, as a dwarf. But the so, demon, so he's supposed to be bigger than Victor, who's a halfling. But the, the monster's... But the mount's a beast, yeah. It's unreal. Yeah. So that's it there. Uh, cool. So, um, excellent. That was good. Uh, <laughs> Byron always loses demo games. It makes more sales for us. Thank you, Byron. He's made a lot of sales. Yeah, so when you were... <laughs> so flip, flip, flipping tables part of also the sales, Byron, because I saw you do that a couple of times. Um, so Crystal Brush piece was amazing. Yeah, did you see that? Vijasha? Oh, yeah, the water, yeah, the oh, sea. Oh. Yeah. So super exciting because she made it to the second round. So the way Crystal Brush works, yeah. they have professional judges who judge the, 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 the pieces. Yeah. They pick a selection of them. They go online. There's online voting. Yeah. It's really an achievement just to get to the second round. Yeah. And she did. So it was... It was so, I was so proud to see Vajasha because I've, I've uh, covered Crystal Blush the four times I went. Yeah. It was so good to see uh, her get there. She didn't get any prizes beyond that, but it was good. It's funny, it is, she is possibly, you know, possibly a, a bit sculpt. And yeah. She's a monster. Uh, in terms Hel- of, in terms of, Helgi, yeah, it's Helgi. We've got to give him credit. Yeah, yeah, Helgi, yeah. His, his idea about the hair it's and the face. It's actually true because yeah. I, I, I brawled with Helgi over. Yeah. The face. Not the face. And he kept, going, saying, he kept insisting. Yeah. Don't put a face. Don't put a face. Her hair covers yes, her face. Trust me, it's more sinister looking. Yeah. It's more mysterious. He's really good. I brought with Th- so I brought with Helgi a lot. Yeah. Sticks. I brought with Helgi over stick. He did sticks as well. Yeah. How he did Kogan, which I like. We are both on the same page. So in the one. end, when you when you you know creating things, you do have to give it you know, take their their advice. And, yeah. Uh, of course. Because we want them to work with us. Well, look at Vijash. And that was Helgi. His idea was the head down, no face. Yeah. Which, is an, yeah, uh, which worked really well. Just magical. Yeah. Yes. And sticks, of course. Is sticks, All right. right. So that was that. Now we talked about the game's growth. We've got lots of Facebook groups tournaments up everywhere. In Australia, I suppose. Uh, yeah. So we've got. Um, so we've got a King of the Grave in three weeks. Yeah, we're another King That's, of the Grave tournament out um, of Campbelltown. One, of the, one, of, our, one of the one retailers. Wayne Backers, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Campbelltown. Um, so it's going to be good. We had good numbers at the last Central Coast one. Yeah, yeah that's good. I'm just working out the next ones for Victoria and Queensland. Really yeah. Working out so where they're going to be. Should be announcing those shortly. Um, uh, yeah, so that's, that's, what's, that's, the, that's the current matter in the US and Australia. I've got some games tomorrow. We've got you have. Company of Dice oh. game stages. Yeah. Company of Dice is Byron's basically... Yeah, uh, Byron baby. runs a big, big club over here, like a couple yeah. hundred members. And they play all games. And yeah. They're all really gamers, more than competitive. Yeah. Some competitive, but mostly gamers. They just yeah. love it. So Modeling, Jeffro's yeah. going to be playing some... Uh, yeah. Like last time I was here, they had like a massive whole row of Star Wars. One game. Yeah. Uh, right, Imperial yeah, yeah, yeah. and Bar all put together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, they, but um, I'm playing Judgment tomorrow. Yeah. Um, with the boys, I'll be taking um, Jaeger. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're Sorry, Jeff. You're taking, yeah, you're taking Jager tomorrow. Yeah. The I played him a lot of trial games when I was playing over there. Yeah. Uh, gave him one. I'm actually not. I'll put him on them. Yeah. Yeah, he's great. Uh, so Wukong said, so Byron, both our games are demo games then because you've eaten twice. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Fucking <laughs> Byron. That was mad. Um, yeah. So, by, so when I go to Depticon, I stay with a bunch of streamers. Rainer, uh, Flick, 
Shoshi. So all those guys were there. Uh, it was um, it was really good. Because you were guys busy. You won the paint off game. You actually didn't. Oh, so yeah, they ended up. Right so right. we ended up playing in our hotel room, was it, was it but right? they ended up playing each other. Oh, because Rainer was playing that. In they the used end, their paint and morals. They did. Oh, that's amazing. They're too scared to touch oh, it. That's amazing. <laughs> So Genuine Vision was there as well, another streamer. Okay. They were all playing in our room. It was okay. it was uh, it was, in a big room. It was, it was mad. Well, we, the beauty of judgment, right? Yeah, we had coffee a coffee table, table yeah. and a dinner table. You got two games. It was yeah. easy to do. It was really I remember hard. the days we went back to the the Warhammer. Oh yeah, it was like six foot boards, and, we, and the, the whole room was one yeah. board. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, cool. All right. So that was that. Um, what else were we talking about? Is that it? I think uh, we talked, covered all the conventions. We covered just the game growing. There was one more thing that's written down here. I think there was one more thing. Ah, oh, what's coming out? Yes, release schedule. Okay. So, Jaeger is currently being made as we speak. Yep. I think it'll be ready in about six to eight weeks. So we're going to boot up uh, pre-sales in about a month. Yep. I'm going to I'm going to get an update from the manufacturer soon. We'll find out. Now, he is pre-assembled. He is plastic. We're going to try this and see how it goes. We are going to then with Fazil, who's yeah. the next one. Actually, quite heavy. Yeah, it is. Good, they're really good, nice. Good. It, it, the plastics are super nice. So, Fazil, we might not assemble it. We're going to see what the feedback's like when people get it in their hands. Yeah. We want people to wait until they get it in their hands, open the box, let us know what they feel. If they still feel strongly around, they want, don't want it pre-assembled, then we'll look at not doing assembled. Yeah, fine. We don't have to do it assembled, but we are doing plastics for both Fazil and him. Now, there is a monster coming out. We haven't released the rules yet. There's a new monster on the new map. How do you say it, Durok, again? D Dogger Khan. Dogger Khan, that's right. Yeah. So uh, he's got some sensational rules. Yeah. He's a demon. Now, Dogger Khan, because it's a monster, we think we're going to do him in resin. He'll be done resin and done multi part resin like the rest of the range. Yeah. The thing about the plastics, there's a big minimum uh, order. That's right. And we're not sure we want to do that for all of them, particularly for the monsters. But even going forward, we, we, we'll, we'll, we'll do some of both. Yeah, yeah we we'll have to do the whole lot. Other companies do the same. Yeah, it's similar. Right. So I think he, so order of things, Jaeger's imminent. The neoprene mat will come out about the same time as Jaeger. This one. Right, yeah. So we, we've pretty much locked it in. We've got to get the, the artwork finished, the graphics yep. done properly, yep. then order the, 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 the um, prototype, the neoprene, the map, and then we just the produce The map will be them. a big thing. They don't take long to do, yeah. so we're going to be doing that. So that, that map should be out, what are we now? We're at the beginning of April, April, May, June. By June, these things are going to be all out. Taking the Gen Con, They're going to be all available. Yeah. So Jaeger and the map will be available at Gen Con, um, but, but be, I don't made it for pre-order yeah. beforehand. So that's to the go there. Uh, we will be shipping the mat which means Dogger Khan's got to be ready well the, his rules will be out yeah, but people have to proxy him no, no. yeah he won't be ready that's, that's fine the, yeah. yeah um now for the rest of the year the only things we're doing this year we're doing a new map we're doing Jaeger Fazil will be out now we're hoping to get Fazil by PAX Australia which is in October mid-October Warfare Weekend is October end of October so he should be available Fazil should be available for Warfare Weekend as well. I can tell that's, you. That, that's what we're aiming for. Quickly, I've got it in my calendar. Um, oh, we're going to come out. Yeah, we're going to come out, Jeff, you know? Oh, great. When? Yeah. The club is close to Paramount. It's not that far. Uh, yeah, 30 minutes away. But if, you, if, you're ever, if you're ever come to Sydney... Yeah, Parramatta. Yeah, we're oh, going. What? Remember he stayed there, played, played Harper last time. I work in Parramatta. Yeah. Oh, we're, I know who it is. Yeah, it's him. Sorry, I didn't know. So, yeah. yeah okay. So anytime anyone is in Sydney, <laughs> anywhere, anyone, anyone in America or Europe's in Sydney, yeah. let us know. It's a big place because we can organise games. I'll get you on the stream. Right. We can. If you want to come and play on stream, you can. Wait, you, what's his name? On David Wanky. His name yeah, is. I, Thank I, you. I I work at Parramatta, and yeah. I can play in my in my studio there. Yeah. So you can come after work and play there. there. I so to, if you're in Sydney, let us yeah. know. I'm five minutes from Simon Harper's house. Yeah. And he was. He and was we can arrange it. Okay. We'll 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 uh we'll get you on stream. When's he coming? Oh, he doesn't know. I think he okay. knows yet. Okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, right. So for Zulu available at now. Yeah. Someone made a comment. Surprise monsters are less uh, ordered. They are because most people, unless you own the entire range, and you go to buy a monster, a lot of people go, mm, I can buy another hero. So yeah. it's normally put up now. Yeah, they do sell though. The that's way true. that we that's do true. it though, yeah, yeah, we do sell them. We do sell them, but yeah. the way that we do it is at conventions we have that special where if you buy five models, you get a free hero, yeah. a monster. If you buy the, the starter and three heroes, you get a free monster as well. Yeah, that's right. And that's how people pick them up. Yeah. So, but for direct sales, it's just because unless you own the whole range, yeah. you pretty much want to buy another hero. People do like it, yeah. yeah. But yeah. 
All right, cool. That's good. All right. Uh, so that's the that's it. So Fizil will be out end of the year. Um, now we've got to do things like the soul pack, the all the character shrine shrines shrine and effigies. So you just have to bear with us. It's uh, yeah, it's we're a small company. It's we can't just churn everything out. So we'll do things as we can. We've already got heroes, of course, in line. Yeah, after that. After Fazil, so, ready so to go. Happens. But um, yeah. yeah. All right, cool. Uh, right, let's go through our our special for the day. We're going to go through all the ranged heroes, Jeff. So we're sticking to ones with RNG. Yes. So like Staral doesn't count, Kavada yeah. doesn't count, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, so it's purely. And ranged. we did have actually the reason why we don't have Svet, Svet, because she's a one, two, three. I think we did actually say one of the, the the two, three, four damage grid guys, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh, I know because there's one, two, three here as well. Is there who? Uh, no, sticks. They're all, no, no, he's two, three, four. Oh, okay. Yeah, sticks is a beast. All right, let's do it. So in front of us here, so before we, before we start this, we should talk about the. What are you gonna talk about? I was gonna go through which which heroes are. No, the range. The big thing about range different than magic right. is the terrain and what it, what effect it does. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, any hard cover for range is minus two, so it's quite harsh. Right, when yep. magic is only minus two. So any walls or, to, or effigies, minus you get cover. Yep, yep. Minus two to dice, basically. Yep. Yep. Um, and a forest is soft cover, is minus one to the dice. Now, I've had a few questions about this. What do you about this? So people were asking me, this is an important one, let me, I think, can I do this here or not? Yeah, yeah, I can, I can. Perfect. People were saying... I'm getting love messages from Byron. Oh, awesome. Do you know how, <laughs> you know how when you're in front of a wall like this, yep. and if, just say Jaeger's shooting this guy over yep. here, and... If your part of your base is covered, you're within one inch, you get cover, yes, right? That's right? People were asking, is that the same for forests? No. When I was, and it's not, right? So with the forest, it's not the same where you're getting cover. You have to actually be in the forest. It says in the, that's in the yeah, market. it does. But they're just so yeah. just make it clarify. You need to be within a forest to get the cover, yeah. but just within an inch of the, the, the hard stuff to get the hard. Yeah. Cover. So the line you drew between the the, the attacker yeah. and the defender yeah. does not have to go through the wall as long as you're within an inch. But and any other part of it is covered that's fine yeah any part of your base any yeah. line you can draw that yeah. goes over and you're within an inch yeah, that's, it. that's it that's it but in the forest that doesn't work if you're out of the forest you don't get covered you need to be yeah. touching it that's okay right. so that was the first clarification and you get yeah two for two for hard and, yeah. one, and, and one for that and the other main difference is you do get an aiming bonus you yes stay at the start of your first before you move before you're going to aim Yep. And you get plus one dice for your attacks. Yep. And this means you can't do a shot and then decide to move later. You yes. forego that. Yeah, you forego the ability. You, 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 even if you want to move later, you can't because you've already declared it. Obviously, you can use pushes to push yourself. That won't affect your aiming bonus. You still get the aiming yep, bonus. Yep, you still push yourself around. Yeah, okay. Um, I think that's about it. I think, can your effigy recall... Is it just moving? It can't do a move action, right? I think it is. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure that's right. That. We have to check that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right, cool. So these are the heroes we've got. So we've got, uh, let's go over here. So we've got Alan Deer, Barn Askus. We've got Laurie Bella, Kogan, Jaeger, the big man, Zaffin, and Styx. So let's just go left to right, Jeff. Right. And we'll talk about the tactics, okay. magical items, right. and what, what our thoughts are. So, so Alan Deer's the first one. So Alan Deer is a uh, range of nine, the second largest range in there, uh, and range of the way, which is quite good. Two things about him I really like is that massive range and, of course, um, his fade ability. Explosive shot. Explosive shot. Yeah. Right. So basically, his grid is just normal. It's I say no. It's actually two, three, five. His crits are five. Yeah. Which is quite legit, right? Yeah, yeah. He's got the mark target at the start of the turn. He can mark an enemy and he gets extra game. dice against that. Yep. Right. Extra dice. And that stays on until you. So he's basically it. RNG. Eight against his mark target and nine, nine if he, he aims. aims. Right. So you do you pick out. So he can get four dice. Against an elf, if he's aiming, because yeah, he goes to RNG quite, line. It hurts a lot. Yep. Um, and the big thing for him is the explosive shot, one fate, it's one true damage to everyone within two inches yep. of the, and the, including the person you've hit, yep. they all go on fire. Yeah. So with Alan Deer, the big thing about him that I, uh, I like to use him at the start of the game, last. Right. You, you always can get, a, especially three versus three, you can yep. get a shot off and activate him last. And hopefully they'll put up their defender like most people do. They put a hero next to it. Remember I did it to you? I've got three guys on fire, on fire. first turn it's of the game. It's a massive yeah. advantage. Yeah. But then, consequent turns after that, if ever I get a good shot with him, I like using it straight away. Because if he gets tied up, he's, he doesn't like being tied up. You know what I mean? If he yeah. gets engaged. So yeah. Yeah. Um, if you get a good shot, if you can get aim and get three shots on a hero, I nearly just jump on it straight away with him. Um, his level two ability, we've got mark target, twin shot, explosive shot, I've explained that. Level two, he basically gets plus one extra um, agi when he's in cover. Do you buy the heart seeker for these guys? No. Uh, hardly ever. 
more than anything, I, I might buy uh, Shredder for him. Okay. Right? Because um, then he's really good against the defenders. Yep. You can, but I find that Rat 8 when you're aiming, it depends on the enemy. Yeah. If they got elves and they're taking the agility item and stuff like that, I might do it. Yeah. But I generally, I'm light with, with items for him. I like having the items and more on the guys up front, either defenders or aggressors. Yep. Um, yeah. And level three, you can ignore res, can't you? Is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah. Which is... So if you're playing against Don Raka and he gets level three, he ain't doing stone form anymore because you're going to no. get a gazillion dice. Get three crits. And ignore him. And uh, yeah. ignoring res. And yeah. Yeah, he's quite good. As I said, he doesn't like being tied up. He's got yeah. a knife, one inch range. It's... Yes. He's one of the strong models in the game at the moment. I think he's. I think he'd be top tier. I yeah. think he'd be. He's up there with some yeah. of the best models. So. Of course, the obvious synergy is with Staril because of fire. Yeah, it's just hard to get off, but it is. Uh, yeah, it uh, is yeah. The thing about those two as well, I don't like them both in threes. Uh, I think in yeah, fives. Yeah, fives and fives. Yeah, yeah. In threes, yeah. it's hard to have two defend yeah. uh, range guys because you're, you're hanging back. Now, if you're playing against the Alan Deer and he's giving you grief, the weakness he's got, he's got a one inch yeah. melee range, so you can just. Charge him. You dive him with a, a model yeah. that's got two inch or three inch range. Yeah. You stay out, stay out of his one. Yeah. He's stuffed. He can't. He needs to walk out yeah. and give you a parting blow. Even if you do engage him, but like Nephany's good for him too because she dives in. He's only range one, but his mill's only five. Yeah, it's five. Yeah. He's gonna be one dice. Yeah. He's looking for a symbol to push. Try away. to push away. Right. And so, if you're base to base yeah. with him, it's gonna he needs two symbols. Then he's then he's not aiming. Then he's moving. Then he's yeah. not shooting. Right. So yeah. it really hurts him. Oh, well, that's Mr. Allen Deer. Uh, next we've got the Barnascus, the Barn Eater. Who is he? So this man is a legend on a tank. Now, he is a dwarf, but he's got speed four. Um, and he also, the thing about Barnascus I'm fine, a lot of people talking to him, I saw a post this morning on Facebook asking how to get the most out of Barnascus because I'm struggling. And I played a game where I played him really poorly and he got caught out. The thing that I find with him is, I think his melee is good as a shock tactic. He's got the, the knockdown. Yeah. So if you're gonna charge in with someone, and the, the, this is a good play. If you charge in with him and knock them down, he can then shoot them. Yeah, that's right. Because they're not, they're not, yeah. even though he's engaging them, they're not engaging him. That's right. You can still shoot them. So you can knock them down. They're down to one agility normally. Then he can just blast away with his gun. Yeah. So that's another thing you could do. See, so it's funny. Alan D is a dedicated range guy. Barnaskis isn't. He is really an all-rounder. He is he's he's really, yeah. He's tanky. Yeah. And, he, and he actually leads up the front, yeah. which is hard to get value of his shooting as well. I, I, think, I think playing him just behind the front line and when there's a swirling melee, sometimes you'll find, oh, all of a sudden, he can aim. Yeah. There's two people close together, and he just goes yeah. nuts. That's like, right. yeah. Colin used him in the King of the Grove final. He was one of his best models. Like, yeah. it, it just takes a bit to get used to. And even I got caught out that time, and he was wrecked. Zonia wrecked him, yeah. and he was pretty much gone. But... um He's got self repair. He's got a lot of yeah. cool things. His fate ability is a merely, merely thing, right? He's, so he doesn't. Build yeah, it. he's not a bad. He's not a bad guy for the heart seeker because he gets minus one dice, but he does twin shot. Yeah, and, and it counters that. But he, he's the kind of guy I need to practice him. If you practice him, he's good. Yeah. I mean, and then he's got pathfinder. Yeah, he's so. got a lot of lot, his kit's really good. He's got a really good kit. He's got knockdown. He's got fire. Yeah. On his, on, so knock down on his melee, fire on his ranged. He can do extra true damage when he rolls J's and S's. Yeah, that's right. Like, yeah. Soul Harvest 4, so he's 8 on that. So yeah. even though he's a range guy, it's not his main thing, yeah. but it's one of his things he can do. So he's, he's included because it's, it's that's range, right? right? Yeah. Um, and probably similar with the next one, which is Laura Bella. Um, yeah, Laurie. So the thing about Laurie... Uh, any thoughts make make both masters mounted. There has been some talk about this. So mounted models normally yeah. get plus one movement compared to their race. He's getting around, they get yeah. plus one damage. Uh, sorry, plus one damage when they charge and plus one melon they charge. Yeah. So he gets a plus one damage I think when he charges. He doesn't get the doesn't get the melon. Yes. So he's very close to being mounted. And I have actually commented in the past. Yeah, I think we might make him mounted. So we'll think about it for the next patch. Whether we just call him a mounted model and then he becomes. He doesn't get plus one. Oh, it doesn't? Oh, right. I thought he got... It's good his movement four. It's yeah. Basically. It's yeah. a movement four. I thought there was two things that made him uh, be... No, it must just be that. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. All right. Here's yeah. the thing on this. His range is seven, by the way. It is the same yeah. as, as, uh, as Alan. RNG. He's yeah. RNG seven. Yeah. 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 Because, because the next one isn't. Yeah, that's, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Now, all right. So potentially, yes, he could become a man of model and join Jaeger and Fazil. All right. So, Laurie Bella. Now... Laurie Bell. She's only an art range of six. She's RNG six. RNG six. But a, and a range of six. And a range of six with a gun. Yep. So she's 
So as a, as a range person, but there's a reason why, because she can go through the roof. Yeah, so she's got a really good combat maneuver where she gets a free shot. Yeah. She's That's two damage two, three, four to start with, yeah. which is yeah. you know, solid, yep. right? Yep. Um, but yeah, her combat maneuver is um, spring-loaded, yeah. and her 2S, she makes an additional shot. Yeah, it's so, a full shot. So yeah. you, you knock down in front of her, she could get six shots off on you. Yeah, um, 24 damage yeah. she gets all the creep. Yeah, it's, it's pretty um, good. Um, so she's a good target for the uh, range item. Now her and Bart Askus do fill similar roles, right? They've got, yeah. the, they've got, they've got six inch range on their gun. Yeah. They're both dwarfs. Um, I have played them together because when she gets level two, she has plus one speed to Minotaurs and Dwarfs. Yes. And that means he gets speed five, which yeah. is quite good. And, then, and the healing together with them, oh, he can self-repair as she can heal. Yeah. They can work together, but if, you, if you're doing that, yeah, you, you're, you're taking these. I wouldn't take a defender. Yeah, because they're pretty. They're both red line. They're already. Yeah. They're healing. Yeah. Already good. Yeah. You take a monitors as well because of the healing and all that, and you already got a tanky type of force already. Yeah. So I probably wouldn't take defenders if I took both of them. Um, yeah. You could even take one as a cameo defender as well. When they're tearing up with Marcus, for example, because yeah. the red, reds goes through the roof. But her Gatling gun, but it's yeah. actually scary. And, and Lloyd's got a. Got a pretty interesting kit. She, she actually got a four, four uh, auto auto damage attack. She does the the, the, um, the headbutt. The what ferocious is charge. Ferocious charge. Yes. Now right. it's all her actions, but yeah. if you need, if you're fighting a, like a sky, yeah. an agility six elf, yeah. you need four auto damage. Is it stun as and well? Stun as well. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. it's yeah. people people don't think about that. Like she's yeah. decent, and at level two, she's speed four herself. Yeah. So she's got an eight inch threat on that thing. That's right. That's like right. She's yeah. Very legit. And her fate ability is really good. So hers one of the best. Yeah. Uh, Fade at a level, at the first level, I yeah, think. Yeah, um, yeah. Explosive Dwarf Ale, which yeah. you can place a, a Dwarf Ale within six inches, yeah. and everybody within two is moved uh, two inches away. Yep. Yeah. And suffer three true damage. Yeah. She's one you want to sort of like save to the end for that ability. Put She's a good first turner to get people off, off shrines the shrines. And, and into yeah. monsters and yeah. things like that. Yeah. Um, and you want to keep Fate for her. You'd sort of like want to, you want to use it every turn. It's one of those ones. So yeah, she's it is. With for yeah, that. Yeah, she is. And the gun. If you can get someone else that can knock something down or something, yeah. that's when she just cuts she's, she's loose. Signed, yeah. uh, she might like Cavano, get her in the place. Yeah. I'll get the enemy into place yeah. or, or sticks, right? Because she's, I think she's a good candidate for the Heart Seeker because yeah. triggering off that extra attack yeah. is well worth it. She's probably more a candidate than Barnaskis in my opinion, actually. Because Barnaskis is a seven anyway. Yeah, she RNG. gets a seven. Yeah. And it, you she do aim at eight. look for people that can knock down as well. Yeah, with her. Because then the pressure's on them. Yeah. All right, so, yeah. All right, cool. Next one is an interesting one. Another one that's, Kogan. that's scary as well. Now, a lot of these guys, their, their range is quite short, but his is four. But if you get someone within four, they're in a, in a world of pain. So, so we have a history of this guy. It was more than four before. Yeah, he was, it, was, it, it was six when he first came <laughs> out. It was so outrageous. <laughs> so we ended up making it four. Yes. Now... Kogan is another one, you get some people sing his praises and other ones go, oh, I can't get the most out of him. Yeah. He's pretty decent in combat. Oh, I've got to tell you a story, man. It's unbelievable. So I'm going to the main camera. I played a practice game against one of the Stevens brothers, right? Not Spencer, it was Sean. I'm pretty sure it was, yeah. <coughs> he did seven four pluses in a row oh, for the, against for the, me. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. It was sustained devastating. The attack. Sustained the attack. Seven true damage yeah. after, after the initial attack. He did ten damage on the attack. It was, um, everyone was, it was a practice game. Everyone was like, oh my God. I never worked for anybody. No, I, I said, <laughs> I've never seen more than three. He did seven. Anyway, yeah. so. So his range ability is six, like Lorabella. His RNG, yep. Again, because yep. it's like Lorabella, it can, you can tipping scale, it can go through yep. the roof. Yeah, it can. Right? But yeah. his damage is one of the biggest, right? He's one guy who's definitely not worth the heart seeker, in my yeah. opinion. He's a guy, an opportunist. Yeah. If, if it's the right situation, yeah, the his gun's going to go ballistic. But the damage is more than any other round, yeah. oh, except for Zaffin, but it's three, four, five. So yeah. the, the, the glancing oh, is yeah. three. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. Right? Solid yeah. is four, and then five. It's, it's and he's got an interesting stand and shoot. Now, once again, you don't get many dice, but when you're doing three damage on a glancing yeah. and someone's coming, that's nice. That's a nice additional damage, that's right? That's two ability. Because he loses the dice from that. Yeah. Um, but here's the big thing, though. I think his fade ability is crazy because it's battle cry. Yeah, right? it is good, yeah. And that affects his ranged attack, right? Yes. Yeah, so even though his stats don't go up, his RNG, the fact that you can reroll two dice from your pool, it's, it just makes it so much better. So yeah. he's good. Yeah. Right, on the bus, it's armor piercing. Yeah. Again. Yep. Um, yeah. And the power shot. Okay, so in, any model damaged by blunderbuss attack suffers a knockdown. Knock down. Is it one J and an S? Yeah. It's, it's one J and an S. So he's got, now, he's, yeah. he partners fantastically well with Sticks. Because yeah. Sticks can get to the position and he can bring him up 
Yeah. And, and he sits. He and if, aim, if the opponent's already activated the model, he can aim and, and, and blast away. And do his fade ability, and then he's level three, he's buckshot again. He's also is, good with Cavado as well. Oh, yeah, he's got, yeah, he's got good stats, that guy. He's he, got a good uh, kid. He's got a lot of options with him, this yeah, guy, um, yeah. to, to use. Yeah. Uh, and, he's, and, he has, and as well, he can fight. Two inch yeah. range, he's a monitor, um, regen, all that stuff that goes with it. So he's one of the guys that's probably. He probably going to be merely first, but you want to get the range shot. You want that to be his main attack because it's that strong, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he's, uh, I'm using him tomorrow, actually. I'm actually using him and Laura Bella in the same warband. I'm giving him... All two. right, next yeah. one is an interesting one because I see Jaeger last, actually. Let's do Zaffin and Stix. Yeah, and yeah. Yeah. Zaffin so, is probably one of my favourite. So uh, Zaffin is an interesting one. So he, the design premise behind him was to have something as close to... Uh, an artillery piece as we can in the game. That was yeah. always the intention. Yeah. He's current, currently he's uh, range 10 inches, yeah. biggest yeah. one in the game. Um, he obviously needs that because he needs to do the two shots a turn to compete, yeah. Yeah. and he only gets his second shot when he doesn't move. Yeah, and he, but he has got range RNG of seven. Yeah, it has. Um, and if you're aiming, you go to eight plus. Now, just level two, just quickly yeah, through the cross. Because he gets that pretty quick. Racial enmity. He gets isn't racial it? enmity. Yeah. Which he can pick at any race except for dwarves, other yeah. than dwarves, and he gets an extra dice. Yeah. Um, so yeah. then you're literally aiming at nine without yeah. magical items. I know. I know. Right? Um, <laughs> he's one of the only other ones that's almost guaranteed knockdown if you want it every time. Yep. Because big game hunter. Immediately you damage. No, that's D6 extra damage. Sorry. The knockdown is meant to shot. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. But it's still good. It also pushes them back. Yeah. Like, he's got a displacement and, yeah, and a knockdown so, and extra D6 damage. Yeah, yeah. big game. He's, he's yeah. massive. I, I really like him because when you can get the aim with him, you get him in a good place yeah. behind a wall or something. Um, he's, and because he, he's damage, he's got the most damage for a range guy. It's 3, 4, 6. Yeah. McCogan's 3, 4, 5. Yep. And he's 3, 4, 6. Yeah, yeah, right. No, yeah. Uh, That's right. He's... Yeah, again, all the dwarves are a bit more trickier than used because they're unforgiving with movement. They are. He doesn't want to be engaged, but even then he can actually fight. He's got res 1 and he can, his damage is still uh, 2, 3, 4. So he's better than Alan Deere, for example. Okay? Yeah. Um, him really likes Cavado because you get the extra shot. Extra shot. He, yeah, he's like the two action, the Thrommels, you know, the two yeah. action guys. Yeah, the big weapon, yeah. The big weapons and him. Him with Cavado, devastating. Yeah, he yeah. he does poison on two S, yeah. which is you get the two S off first attack, then the second attack is an extra dice because yeah. they're poison. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the other thing about him, I like his level three. Dead eye. He ignores throwing to Millie. Yeah, right? it's good. But that's, late game when there's a brawl going on, he just, just picks someone and just blast the crap out of him. You've got to find a good place for him where it's safe and keep him back. Now with the ten inch range you can do it. It's a yeah. long way. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And people want to let him fire the whole time, they're gonna let him fire. Yeah. So so once again, defense against him, dive him. You dive him and, and you engage him, it just really slows him down. He's worse than Alan Deere in that way. Like he's tankier than the others. Yeah. He does decent damage in combat. He's got a metal six and he's yeah. got two, three, four, but, he but he's not shooting. He's, he's, yeah, you gotta dive him. Yeah, because he walks out. So shoots, yeah. in threes, I don't think he's anywhere near as effective. Even though his field of five is bigger, it's yeah. easier to dive him. But in fives, you get him in the right position in fives, he's, uh, he's a menace. Yeah. It's yeah. something like on this map where you're sitting back here, you're touching the forest, yeah. 10 inch range. Massive 10 inch range. You're covering everything. Yeah. Right? yeah. It's, it's yeah. just, yeah. It is and, uh, yeah. All right, cool. Uh, that's him. Uh, <laughs> Sean said he's, he'll cherish that memory when he rolls seven four pluses in a row against me. Jeez, that's a pretty hard feat it to beat. It was unbelievable. I've never seen it. Did he kill it? No, I left him on three. Who was it against? Um, it was one of my, one of my tanks. I, I, I had like, yeah. he charged in, I said, oh, I've got nine left. And then he, he did, he left him on three. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so he did, yeah, he did seven. Left, left, uh, ten left, 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 left. It was devastating. Check the dice. This is uh, <laughs> the Sticks Meister. Now, people might not think about Sticks as a ranged guy, but yeah. I've got to tell you, at level two, he becomes one of the best in the game. Yeah. So his RNG is six. Yeah. His range is also six. Um, his damage is two, three, four. It's so it's just standard a damage. Else. Yep. Series just, series just, yeah, heard us. What's going on? Go to Google or something? I don't know what's going on. Oh, I hope we should <laughs> shut up. All right, so um, Jeff, go to level two, please. What is it again? Yeah, um, power, power shift. Yep. One S. Enemy model damaged by scythe and chain scythe attack can be pushed up to three inches in the so, direction. Piper's the only guy that can really push people from, from, from distance. Yeah. He can do it. It's 1S. But it's three inches. And it's three inches. In any direction. You can push him into monsters, push monsters. Yeah. So yeah. people don't really... 
I mean, he's got such a good kit sticks, right? Like yeah. the, the movement shenanigans and that kind of thing. Hey, look at that only, and yeah. the, the range thing but is quite, it's effective. quite effective. The pushing man. like that is crazy. Three inches, that's yeah. massive, right? Um, yeah. And his, his, his range is six. Eight, and so. the reason why you want to get to level two is because you want him to get to level three. <laughs> <laughs> like, Pain like that. <laughs> level three, yeah. he cuts himself for true damage, is up to 10, is, is brutal. Yeah. He's a great model. So th we've included him because he's legitimately, he's a legit yeah. uh, uh, RNG model. Like he, he's a particular level two. So, and he doesn't yeah. like being in the thick of that anyway, because he, no. he's the easiest one, one of these yeah. guys to kill. So staying back and shooting is quite yeah. legit. So, yeah, so don't forget to look at that. Yes. The last one is Mr. Jaeger, who's not officially released. So, right. Yeah, we're going to talk about this guy. So is he in my app? Yeah, he's, there. he's in the apps. Cool. You can already get his rules, as well as Fazil's. He's already there as well. Um, there he is. Yeah, he's there. So he's Steve range. The, two the damage is, um, again, it's, it's range 7. It's an odd number, but it seems to work, right? Um, and he's also got RNG 7s. So he's actually one of the higher RNG. Yeah. Because the reason is it is, one, it is probably his main attack, right? Because yeah. his, his, his is. knife is only 1, 2, 3. He's, like, he's yeah. a bit like Alan Deere. Yeah. Um, but he's... His uh, crossbow is two, three, four damage. Yep. But it's got some really cool abilities you want to talk about. The, uh, yeah, so the big one that everyone thinks of with him is the strip soul. It's one J and one S. One J and an S, you take a soul of someone. It can save you the game. It's so powerful. It's the first model that can do it currently more than once in a activation. Yeah, Saiyan can do it. Where Saiyan and Cruel can only do it once because it's an active ability. Yeah. He can actually do it three times if he was in the right place at the right yeah. time. Uh, it's, it's quite strong. He's got a... A very interesting kit that also helps his RNG. He's got Retarius. Yep. So Retarius is a one action ability that takes two agility off him, I think, Jeff. Yeah, that's right. So it's basically plus two RNG. Yeah. Like it, it, and because it's a specific token for him, you can't get rid of it by shaking it. Yeah. It's, it's not a condition. Sticks can get rid of it. Sticks is the only one that can get rid of it. Yeah, you can't spend right. a fake and get rid of it. That's right. So that's super yeah. good. He's, um, he's Monster Slayer. Yep. So that that the other yeah, that's right. Monsters like so plus one damage when rolling is monsters. And, and that's with both his weapons. Yeah. And don't forget, because his cavalry, so he's only one, two, three of his knife. Yeah, but but cavalry's plus one damage, yeah. two, three, four. Yeah. And he's a monster slayer. He goes a three, four, five against yeah, against monsters. uh. That's yeah. right. Yeah, um, so. now his adapt is fate ability is similar in what in way is to Kogan. Yeah. Um he can basically uh, use combat maneuvers and hit symbols, he can swap them. Yeah. Right? So he can yeah. increase the damage if he yeah. needs it. So that fade ability is like Kogan's, you yeah. use it early. The one uh, thing is, nice it, cops, it, it caps it, right, at, um, it doesn't make him do more damage. His crit's still four, it's still 12 maximum, but it really makes the chances of getting crit, yeah. and it really increases your chances of stripping soul. Yeah. Because you can change the symbols for the... the that's you know, right, that's yeah. right. He's a bit um, of a catch-22 guy, this guy, because he wants to be up close to use Vitaris. He wants to be up close to use his level 2 ability disruption. Yeah. But he also wants to be back because of range. Yeah, yeah. So you've got a bit more yeah. high skill cap to use him. Yeah. But definitely a range guy if you want range yeah. with a bit more tricks to it. Yeah. So you've got guys like Alan Deere and um, Zaffin who would range and basically just did lasagnas of the range well. That's what they do, yeah, yeah. But guys like him, Kogan, Laurie, yeah. A um, bit more flexibility in what they yeah. can and sticks. A uh, bit more, a few more options. So out of these, the ones that I would consider heart seeker four, I'm probably not going to say yeah. Alan Deere because Alan Deere gets the mark target and he's pretty good. Uh, I, I think Zaffin's a good candidate, and I think Laurie Bella. They're probably the two for me that I would consider yeah. the RNG, the, the heart seeker, the plus one RNG. Because Zaffin's is deadly. Yeah. Uh, Barnaskis and Kogan and. Sticks yeah. and Jaeger, you could do it, but the it's ways, but the ways to look at it is depends. Some people have first turn priority items that you want. Yeah. Maybe later on the turn you got a fate, you get it for bonus yeah. for LNG, right? Yeah. But priority, yeah, I think Laura Bella can use it well. Yeah. And Zaffin, you said. Yeah, Zaffin. One yeah. thing go back on, we forgot to mention Jaeger's level three ability. What's he that can, again? He can move and get his aiming aiming bonus. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, it's yeah, it's, it's like getting plus one RNG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you can you can aim and still move. Yeah. And he ignores one res, right? Don't forget yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. For that attack, yeah. that's a fate ability. But no, no, it's just sorry, this is marksman ability. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. Um, excellent. Well, that's probably it for the going through the guys through the RNG. So next show we'll do. We'll pick another one, either the Madge guys or, we do or the melee punch face guys. Punch face guys. Yeah, yeah. we'll go through the them. And the and yeah, all that, and that. yeah. So that's it now. Uh, oh, there was some things people were asking me from Depticon. We sold out of tokens very quickly. Muse on Minis sell them on their website. So North American people, you can get them. 
We're going to get a bunch of them in Australia here as well, so you can buy them from us. And they've uh, got the new ones, the Sky and, and... Yeah, I've got a set here. We've got like Soul Link for Zyvera. It's, it's really yeah, good. It's got the Sky as well. So there's a whole bunch in there. So, yeah. So if you want to get them, you can. You get a three-inch forest template for Gendrous as well, like a neoprene template, yep, which is yep. really cool. Right, yeah. So, okay, that's probably it for today. It was a pretty long show. We're... Um, Going to be doing hopefully a game on Monday, which is Sunday night Talk in North America. It should be fine for that. Yeah, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll play the new map, I think. Uh, so get the hype up for that one. Play a 5v5, and we'll go from there. Uh, let me check any last questions for anybody. That's what we've got here. Forgot to grab the template. Oh, yeah, you did too. Uh, yeah, Constant Way wants to hear the same take on melee aggressors. Uh, yeah, so they're talking about Jaeger's strip soul's quite good. Um, I think that's about it, yeah. So you do realise the, the way we're doing this, we're crossing over here, right? Because like Lorabella, Barnascus, Sticks are almost their hybrid uh, support as well. Yeah. But we've got them in the range. So when it comes to Mealy, we might throw in, who knows, we might throw in Piper as well. And we'll probably put Kogan as well. Yeah, yeah, he'll, so he'll double so up. We, but we'll yeah. focus on the, on the, the Mealy. The ones that, that, that do a bit of both. We won't be putting Alan Deere and Zaffin in that section. Yeah. <laughs> right. And the, 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 the counter, I think, I think the Jaeger, there was... He hasn't got a tremendous amount of health, so pinging him for health and getting him low is quite quite good. He starts at fourteen. Yeah, and then if you because he's one two three in combat, getting him involved in melee as well. It, it, it's His AG keeps him alright, AG five, but yeah. it's only fourteen health. So yeah. Any any direct damage like Thorgar thing or any, yeah. any of the direct damages. That's right. Like they hurt the elves, they hurt him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. As well. Mm. So. All right. Um, cool. Thanks very much, everybody. Anything else, Jeff? All good. I think that's all good. Enjoy your games tomorrow. Looking forward to tomorrow. Play yep. Tort and. I think Harry's coming up. From uh, Vassal tonight. League's going super strong as well. Lots of games being played, which is great. Yeah, I know. So if you go on the website, you go, there's a link to the Vassal League in the About section. Uh, we've got like 16 players. We've had to, Chunky yeah, was being, and then he, he came to a halt. Yeah, he lost the game. Jerry, yeah. Jerry, 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 yeah. In your group? Yeah, in yeah. our group. I'm in the European and the American yeah, group. Yeah, so it's going good. We're going to be finishing that soon and heading into the playoffs. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's heating up. So, yeah, if you want to play, learn the game, uh, Ping someone on Discord. They're normally yeah. very helpful to, to teach you on Vassal. You get the Vassal module. Obviously, yeah. it's all free. It's all there. Everything's on there. It's, it's so easy the to card, play Judgment don't need Vassal. Any, any no. tokens. And you can get some practice games against people outside. He says, yeah. your meta's small or it's new. Yeah. It's a good way to get some games in. I know it's not the same as playing on the table, but it's yeah. still really good. We've got the league going, but still people will be happy to play any yeah. game. Yeah. All the maps are uploaded. There, yep. even the, I think this map too. It is. Yeah, even the, the new map's on there. Yeah, so, yeah. and of course... All the games are organised on Discord. Yep. So yeah, get Discord. on Discord. Yep. And Jaeger's on there. Uh, Fazil's on there. So I'm going to play. I think I'm sitting a game with uh, Chad soon. Oh, yeah, cool. Oh, that's good. So, That'd be good to see. Uh, I've got a few guys actually. actually. Yeah, That'll so be a good game. I've only had two games uh, at the moment. Um, teach me how to play tomorrow, Jeff. Taught is no help. Gamera. Oh, okay. You're going to, it's, I think going to the club tomorrow. Yeah, Gamera is... Uh, Who's he? That's Harry, isn't it? Is it Harry? Yeah. Oh, hey, Harry. He came yeah. second at the last yeah, event. Yeah, he's play Smash Taught. And he smashed Taught. Byron's not going to be there because he's still away. Yeah, uh, yeah pre-orders will be available prior to Gen Con and they'll be available at Gen Con, which is uh, the map and, and Jaeger. Uh, yeah, Wukong, the 5 v 5 map. So I reckon that'll be up for pre-sales in about a month as well. We might do some deal with both Jaeger and the map. If, they get them at the, if we get them at the same time, yeah, we'll work yeah. something out. Yeah. That'll be cool. All right, cool. That's us. Uh, I'll be online after this. So if you want to chat to me, I'll be there. Uh, and we'll speak to you guys soon. Yep. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. It was good. Good See show. Cheers. Bye.